Hi, fans of high quality entertainment. Welcome to Bad Grammar 59. Nobody cares. <laughs> so the way I'm going to do this, it's uh, I've always found it difficult, you know, getting all of the comments together. And I used to print them out and read them and then a lot of video editing. But with OBS Studio, I just do this. And it's a little easier because of the chronic pain I'm in. So I hope you can read the comments. I know I can. <laughs> so the first one is, there's actually two by this person. Namak Sokolovic. And he says, you are a cheap man. That's true. <laughs> Collecting views with fake videos and making fun of people. I think this was for my Guns N' Roses where I did a, a silly reaction to Axl Rose. Be creative. I try. I've been trying for 16 years. And make a good educational video. By the way, he has a good educational video coming up. You'll see. In the end, no matter how... He sings. He fills the stadium every night on the tour, which is an even bigger success for someone to fill the stadium with bad singing. And you still make fake videos. You are very limited. I've been told that many, many times. I'm very limited. And I make fake videos and I, I'm a cheap man, even though I've given away hundreds and hundreds of dollars in CDs and books and T-shirts on this channel. But we won't get into that. Let's see what else this wonderful man says. It's coming up. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I, I guess I replied. And he says, I don't believe you have permission to joke like that at someone else's expense. Well, I was going to write to Axel Rose and ask for his permission, but he was busy. Your sense of humor is very stupid. Thank you. Or make such humor at your own expense. Oh, I do many times. I love making fun of myself. So I grabbed a video from his uh, pretty awesome channel. Uh, and let's see. Let's see. The only video, actually, that's... Yeah, this is his. And uh, I didn't include the audio, but he's air drumming to Metallica's Blackout. And he's just... He's given it his all. Uh, very original. He's, he's right in. And there's his stats since 2014. He's got 4,748 views. Congratulations. Very good. Very impressive. And I think there's more stats coming. Yeah, 12 subscribers. Very good. And you can see the other videos are just like Guns N' Roses. Uh, copyrighted material, I might add. I don't think he got Axel's permission to use those. And his, oh, this is my stats. I'll pause it for, oh, he's really going now. So this is what you see on my front channel. And from 2006, 15,049,483 views, which beats his channel, even though, you know, he did start his channel later. But when you go into my uh, my stats, the real stats, it's, it says your channel has gotten 32,642,155 views so far. So I have beat him in views. But, you know, he only has, you know, a handful of very original videos, I must say, at least this one. Uh, so that's that. He's gone. He's out of here. Okay. Nasty facts. On seeing the video, I lent that Canadian stud muffin is Bon Jovi's greatest enum. Oh, this is the most shameful reaction video ever. So obviously a Bon Jovi fan. I don't know what it means, but those are na some nasty facts. Richardson family. 
thank you for being on YouTube. Now I do post some nice comments. I have to, you know, for my ego, I have to post some good ones. Uh, there is no one who finds humor in everything. That's true. That, that first guy. Keep making videos so we can all be happy. Thank you very much. Richardson family. Ronald Gray, is it true that the remaining Beatles be unable to place their right palm on the King James verse, is it the Bible, on the KJV and, and, and say these words only once, I refuse to be full of demons. I don't know if the Beatles actually did that. I, I am a Beatles expert. I know that Ringo was born with one foot, but I have not heard uh, if they refused the demons or not. So you'd have to look elsewhere on the internets. The Rock Beast, you're doing the most hilarious cover of Living on a Prayer. Now, of course, he spelled hilarious wrong, but I'm not making fun of this person. I'm not. Thank you, The Rock Beast. It was a. Uh, a nice comment. Just check your spelling next time because I didn't know what that word meant right away. It took me about five hours to figure it out. But thank you. Grateful Hermit. Dude, I love that cat as much as these videos. LOL. Been watching them since I was a teenager. Well, thank you. Uh, Jinx is over there, but thank you very much. Yeah. I don't know what else to say, but thank you, dude. <laughs> oh, got to move. I got to move this down a bit. Andy Butler. Hi, Andy. Lots of, is it Fox? Fax, Fox. Lots of Fox Beatles fans here. I guess, like, pretend not real. How in God's name can you prefer Abbey Road to Revolver? How? It's not possible. Stack one by an absolute country mile. Quality over quantity every single time. Also, you get the most important and influential prog rock album ever. In the court and Led Zeppelin IV. Those three alone defeat just about anything you can offer in popular modern music. And then I just replied, uh, sorry to say, but people like you take all of the fun out of music. Why can't some Beatles fans like or love Abbey Road over Revolve? I love it more than Abbey Road. So that makes me a Fox fan, implying we can't be real fans and it's not, in, and it's not possible to like Abbey Road more. Everyone can love, like, or hate anything because it is their choice and their opinion. To insult others who might disagree, is just rude and pathetic. Yeah, why, why can't everybody just like what they like? Ugh. <laughs> this is, I don't know, this must be for one of my comedy videos. And person just wrote, this sucks. <laughs> so I replied, then, then perhaps go watch another video on YouTube. And then he replied, Way ahead of you, mate. So he's out of here. <laughs> uh, Larry, I love that name. Larry Lonstein Jr. Lonstein. If I had to go to jail. Oh, this is for the stack one versus stack two. If I had to go to jail, I would want a third stack of all Chicago records. A lot of the stuff they have done is far better than most of the artists on here. These guys deserve far more credit than they have gotten even now. Greatest American rock band ever. So, you know, I'm trying to have fun with my viewers. Stack one versus stack two. And some people, of course, you know, they don't want to play along. They want to make their own rules. They want to bring in their own albums. So... A comment like that, you know, I just delete it and I saved it for bad grammar. Sorry, Lee. Follow the rules. 
Natalie. Now, Natalie is a Facebook friend. She's been very supportive of Molly and me, and I hope we can still remain on good terms. Uh, this was when I recently did a video on, uh, you know, kind of being turned off by Van Morrison. You, you know, not just for his politics, though, because there's other bands into politics. But it was just a gradual losing interest in him and his music for more than just that. But, you know, I knew making, well, I got a lot more feedback back than I thought it would, like negative. Some positive, you know, most of it was kind of agreeing with me, but, you know, I got a few zingers in there. And Natalie said, I've just come across this video and I must say, I find it upsetting. You may think it's okay to cancel someone for his right to have a pol political stance or opinion, when on the other hand, you have not canceled, say, Phil Spector and enjoy listening to Let It Be album all the way. Like it's totally accept acceptable to kill your wife. I never said that. But to have an opinion is the real crime. Canadian stud muff. And yeah, I just want to move on from that. Uh, but uh, I need a drink. But that, that is why, you know, I know if you ever bring up politics in any form, you're going to, you're going to get a backlash like that. And uh, let's move on. Now, these are every video I up, up every video I upload. Uh, luckily, I have it set up so that some comments I have to approve them like these. So anytime there's a link, usually I don't accept links. So that's one thing I, I'd like my viewers to know, because, you know, it's hard enough getting people to watch videos on on a person's channel without. You know, putting links to go elsewhere. So I like viewers to watch my videos and, uh, but you know, if I'm doing a contest like recently and people are, are doing a video for the contest, obviously I'm going to approve the link for the video. And, you know, once in a while I do approve a link, but these are spam. So if you clicked on God, gondus.uno, I don't know what would happen, but it's probably not good. Uh, you might go to my Canadian Stud Muffin YouTube channel by accident. That would be terrible. <laughs> but yeah, every time you upload a video, I get three, four, five, six of these. So I'm just letting other viewers know if you see something like this, please don't click on the link because it's not good. And yeah, here's just more of them. And that was just for one video. <laughs> I, I think I posted this in my community on Facebook before. Gon Gonzalo Carniglia Gonzalez. I love to watch your videos while I'm high. Well, I love to I love to watch my videos while I'm drinking. Whatever makes you happy. But, you know, they're just just be careful because there's certain videos I like to occasionally make a pretty weird video and you're just going to freak out, man. So, be careful. Now, Gary is uh, a childhood friend. I haven't really had much contact with him in years, but he's like a Facebook friend. And in the 70s, he used to, he was a big Paul McCartney fan, and he did not like Sparks. Uh, back in the day, he used to, you know, uh, I don't think he'd say it now, but he used to call them gay. And, you know, he just supposedly hated their music. And although uh, 
1977, I bought Introducing Sparks, which is which is more of a kind of a pop rock album, a bit more normal. And he ended up buying it <laughs> and he liked the songs on it. But even today, uh, if I post something on Sparks on Facebook once in a while, he'll uh, he'll post something like this. And I'm at the point being serious that, you know, and I've, I've taken it for like almost 50 years. Next time he does it, I'm just going to block him because I think, you know, there's a point where you need to grow up. Like I have. <laughs> yeah. And then he's a fan of uh, Burden Cummings of the Guess Who. And so I sent this to him. I don't think he ever saw it, but Burden Cummings had posted. He's posted about Sparks a couple of times and he just, you know, Sparks, Ron and Russell Mail, they've been around for decades yet, never achieve, achieved huge across the board success or acceptance. And, you know, I've just, you know, impressed with that, that one of the greatest singers of all time, you know, knows Sparks. And I mean, Sparks are well better known now because of thanks to Edgar Wright's documentary. But, you know, back in 2015, it was really cool to see a couple of posts from, uh, yeah, from Burden. Got to pause this. Oh, I missed it. Which of the Beatles is singing this Beatles song? This is this was a really well well received video that Molly did with me. We've done I think one other one before, and uh, and I'm really proud of her. She did well, and we are going to do another one. I think she'll be down in the next in the next week or so. But this person didn't like it, but he had to leave a comment. You've just wasted four minutes of my life. And then I just replied, no, you wasted your time by not turning off the video earlier if you didn't like it. You also wasted your time leaving a comment. <laughs> but I've seen that, you know, through the years, not just on my channel, but other channels. I just wasted 10 minutes of my life. It's like, well, that's your problem. It's not the video or the video creator's problem. Oh, and this is, you know, just one of your typical guys uh this was when i was ranking the songs of john lennon from his solo career and binat Fiesen wrote for the record i do not care to hear john lennon and david bowie albums ranked at all this is pointless maybe it's fun for you <laughs> and then i i wrote back for the record don't waste your time clicking on the video and leaving a comment as it's pointless like go watch something you like I've, I've, I've seen videos I don't care for, and I've never left a comment. I've moved on. And then I would just like to thank, you know, there's more if you want to pause the video to read it. And I think there was another page of it, but I've just put this one. But, you know, some of my viewers were replying to him too. And, you know, I thank, thank you for sticking up for the Canadian stud mom. <laughs> But, you know, he'd argue back and forth. And, yeah, I've been making pointless videos for 16 years that many others enjoy. Go elsewhere with your negativity. I sure told him. Gregory Lawrence. Now, this is another guy. I don't think I have the first comment. But, you know, he was, of course, oh, it was about me. I think reviewing like a Beatles album or or something, and and he was saying that I don't have the you know because I'm not a musician, I shouldn't be able to have a, a an opinion on it. And then I replied, and then he wrote back, "Yeah, hi, yes, forty year pro vi violinist, not world class, but very skilled. You can see my channel if search on Gregory Lawrence vi violinist. Of course." You can say anything you want about anything, as I as can I. When it comes to music, however, you might want to tell your viewers you are not a trained musician. I am not a trained musician. You you comments, and he's not a trained uh, 
grammar writer. You comments on what you like are based on what you like or don't like. That's very true. But saying an opus is not good, Baroque, classical, renaissance, romantic, pop, rock, jazz is not in your realm. You can say you don't like Beethoven's symphony, symphonies or George Harrison's Here Comes the Sun, etc. But you cannot say those are not well-written or good compositions. You were not quaffed. <laughs> I, it's true. I'm not quaffed to do so. It's, he's, he got me there. I'm not quaffed. 